Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. So um, today is a home bargains haul. Um, but this is like a Father's Day edition. So got in there, got some cleaning bits. I had to get some medicine for the boys as well. Um, but there was the Father's Day stuck in. So I thought I'd share them with you because this time last year I'd done like a Father's Day hamper haul type thing. But obviously... I've not been able to just go everywhere and do a hamper, so I thought I'd make up like a little mini hamper, but not actually make one up. I've got a gift bag for it. I'd like to show you the gifts I'm gonna put inside for Father's Day. Also as well, at the end of this video, if you know, if you watch my videos, you'll know this, I can't edit, um, but I do know how to join two videos together. I've got like a, an app that I can just go blom blom, blog them together. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you as well, because my shelves come, my kitchen shelves, which I've been waiting for for ages, and I did say that I would do, show you how I put them up, but I was a little bit delusional with that, because actually, I realized that there used to be a radiator there with like all the gas pipes behind. So I thought, do you know what? I don't want to risk the gas pipes and blowing the house up. So I thought Gary had to sort of like do the pipe finder while I'd done like the spirit level and the drill. So there was no hands to be had to film it. But I have got three shelves that I've got to put up in the boys' room for books next week. So what I thought is I could do a little like intro to DIY, like doing it yourself by drilling things up and like how to hang a mirror and shelves and stuff so that you can do it too as well if you don't know because I do get asked a lot how to do that so that's going to be up next week instead but I am going to show you the shelves the blind up because now it's finished and also I got gifted two little lovely pieces from Bob Home and lovely eucalyptus wreath and a lovely heart so they'll be up at the end of this video and link them together because there's no point doing separates is there but let's get into the haul so I'm going to get the father's day bits out first because I've got a few little home bits as well um, and the first things I picked up they always do oh got to even mention grab yourselves a nice cold drink and some snacks because officially it's summer and it's really really hot I've got Diet Coke in a wine glass because currently it has come to that guys <laughs> it genuinely has um so I do, I'm not gonna lie I wish I was a bit gin in there as well but without further ado let's get into the haul so I thought you know what I've got tons of baskets I'd probably make up a hamper with those but they have such good quality gift bags and stuff and they're really, really cheap. So a lot of card shops and stuff ain't open, but Home Bargains do really lovely pieces. And a lot place, a lot cheaper than other places like Tesco's and as like the supermarkets that are open. Um, so this lovely gift bag, Happy Father's Day with Legend, it's got like a little 3D tag on the front. Um, it's a lovely size and this one was 89p. And I got this to put all the little goodies in and I thought 89p is really, really good and their bags are really sturdy. Also to go in there, I picked up this lovely little kit. How cute is this? So if you've ever seen Gary, he's my gentle giant. He's got like a big beard um, and yeah, he's like my big bearded man. So I thought I'd get him this little bearded kit from the kids. Um, and it's got a little beard oil in it and it's like sandalwood scented and it's meant to smell amazing. If it smells like the little aftershave that they had on display, which is the same scent, it's going to smell lovely. It's also got a sandalwood scented body wash and a little comb for their beard. Um, and this was 2 99 and it's in this lovely like retro pattern. It looks like very much like them really nice gifts that you get at Christmas. Um, so 2 99 for that. You can hear a little bit of noise in the background. The kiddies are playing Avengers and so is Gary playing with them. He's got the day off work today. Um, so yeah, I just 2 99 for that. Also in there, they had these. Now, I love stuffing out like a little gift bag with little tiny gifts as well. Gary, if you're walking past, don't look because these bits are for you. <laughs> um, so they had these in there, which I thought were really, really cute. So they've got, let's be quiet because he hears me. And um, they've got these like little number one dad cookies that are ice. And these are 59p. Now, if you obviously have the ingredients indoors, you can make these. But even if you had to get the cookie cutter in the shape of like, you know, like a football or, or a, you know, like a football cup or something sort of like, you know, they do along the lines of a Father's Day gimmicky style. Some of them cut, cut, cutters are like 50p. So for 59p, they're already done, wrapped with a little bow on it. And I thought that'd be cute to like wrap up in there as well. That's the only design in my shop that they do. So I'm not sure if they do other designs as well. Also, 
they had this mug in there. Now, sometimes their mugs can be a little bit flimsy. Some of their, like, you know, like their novelty ones at Christmas and stuff. This one's really, really thick. So this is going to last. I'm definitely not breaking my dishwasher. Um, I better check if it is dishwasher. Oh, it does say hand wash only, so I can't even put it in the dishwasher. But never mind. Um, so this was $1.99, and it says 100% guaranteed best dad bar none and i thought that was really lovely so gary can it's a pint glass and i thought that was really lovely because then if they have a drink that they drink then you can obviously put that in there as well like a little bottle of drink so for 1.99 also to put in there gary loves stationery what's that bobby yeah, so also in there, they had this diary. So Gary loves stationery and writing down sort of things that he's got to keep up today, especially with work. And they've got this really lovely, it feels like proper leather. I don't think it is for the price. Really, really lovely and padded. Um, it's got loads of pages inside with writing and stuff in there, like lines, so you can do writing. Um, and this was $1.99. And yet again, it's got the same sort of like pattern on it. And it's called the Gentleman. Gentleman only, premium gifts. And they really do look premium. It's really, really lovely. So this was $1.99. And I thought that would be good for him to sort of like bulk out his little bag. And they also done these pens. So Dadge the, le Dad, Dadge the Legend. The Legend. Um, so these are to match the gift bag. And it comes in, it says, Num best dad ever on the pen. And it's a really nice pen. Now, you know, some of these shops sell like nice pens and stuff. You're talking like £10 and stuff. This was £1.49, which I thought was really, really good. And with a one like nine book, that's just such a lovely little gift on its own. Or do you know what I mean? You could add them together or you could do like his favourite beer and a beer mug and maybe some chocolates or some crisps. But I've got, I've got these because Gary's football mad. He's an Arsenal fan. <laughs> he's from Island, he's from North London, so that's his team. Um, but for 79p, they had loads of these little chocolate footballs, which I thought were really, really cute. So I'm going to open them, and I might try and see if I can pop them into the glass while it's still in the box. I might even get another pack of these to really fill it up, and that will look really, really cute. What are you doing? Have you got your teddy? Have you got your teddy? Are you chasing it? Cheeky wiki. Um, so now we're going to go... Oh, no, no, I've got this for my granddad. So... My granddad's more tall mad and things like that. And they didn't have any like things along the lines in there. So I'm thinking maybe the pound shop might have a few little like, because last year I got a few pens that were shaped like tools and stuff, like novelty gifts. Um, but they had this mug in there for £1.29. I thought it was so, so good value for money. So granddad, you are my hero. And I thought this looked really classy. Like it's not gimmicky. It's really lovely. Really in like lovely colours. And I thought that was really lovely. And that's also in the gentleman's premium gift cup. And you've also got the tag on it. So even if you didn't want to wrap it, it was a quick thing. It's to and from. And um, £1.29 for this one. So that's going to be in my granddad's bag. But I've got to finish his bag off. So I am trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly indoors with things that you reuse. Now, please tell me I'm not the only one. When I've been to McDonald's, I really hate drinking out the, pa the paper straws. It makes my teeth go on edge. Like when you go to the dentist and they put the cotton wool in your mouth, it just... Oh, it makes me feel not great. I don't like it. Obviously, I know plastic is terrible for the environment. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? Crazy, crazy. He sounds like he's tap dancing in the background, don't he? He's not. He's just chasing his teddy around. Well, I hope he's doing that. <laughs> we probably know what he's doing, but he's chasing his teddy around. Um, so, in there, I thought for the children, I can carry these around in my bag. Because um, they don't particularly like drinking out of paper straws. But luckily enough, when we go places like that, they tend to have like a bottle of water or like maybe a fruit shoot or something. So they're not really drinking fizzy drinks so that they can need a straw. But just in case, anyway, so they have these eco-friendly reusable drinking straws and they're stainless steel and you get a packet of four. But what I love about this is you also get the brush, the straw brusher that you can wash them. And I thought they were lovely. And these were £1.49 and the packaging is also recyclable, made from recycled fibres, which I think is really good. And for £1.49, I find some people find it hard when things go to eco-friendly, especially when it first started happening because a lot of the eco-friendly things were a lot dearer. And they still are. You can pay a pound for a big bulk of plastic straws. But these are reusable, so I thought these would be brilliant. And then I got these, which I think are going to be amazing for cocktails. Um, like when you've got friends over and it's a bit more fancy. These were £1.99. But I'm obviously not going to let the kids use these because it might be a bit dangerous. These are goodbye plastic, hello glass. These are glass straws. They come in a lovely little linen bag if you're going to carry them out. Perhaps if you're going to take them, I don't know, to a little like bar or cocktail bar and you want to take a little like straw. How cute are these glass straws? I was quite surprised Home Bargains had such like classy barware, if that makes sense. 
lovely little glass straws and they're just gonna feel much nicer than a paper straw because they always go soggy, don't they? And in here as well, they've also got, ta-da, the brush that's really easy to wash the straws out properly so that you can reuse them because I would be a bit funny if they didn't come with the, the brushes, I'd be like, oh, a bit gross. Um, and they come in a little bag. So actually, I probably would use this little bag to put my dirty straws, like once they've done, rinse them out with a bit of water or something, but put them in here and then this can go in the washing machine while they go in the dishwasher or the sink. And they were one that and I thought they were really good, but like, how, I'm gonna use one. No, I couldn't, because I've actually only just got them out of the packet. I've not washed them yet. But how cute are they gonna look in a little cocktail cup? Especially like Christmas time. I know, I'm already jumping the gun to Christmas. We've been in isolation so long. I actually done an Instagram post the other day with a stone pumpkin that I put out. I found it in my garage, I was like, I've got to put it out. Isolation's been going on so long, it feels like forever. So it feels like it's round about the time when I start getting excited about pumpkins in autumn. I'm just an autumn lover in Christmas and it just feels like, I think that might be what, what we need to cheer us up is Christmas and autumn. Um, but you know, Christmas time with a little Baileys on ice, a little glass straw, I thought that was lovely. Also, I picked up for £2.49 another little cooler bag because obviously no places are really that open so it's like trips to the park and maybe having a picnic and stuff like a field or like maybe the seaside so another little cooler bag because the kids have their packed lunch boxes but i just find it easier when you get these ones because you could put all your sandwiches in this one then i've got my big one this would be more for like cans and heavy stuff or whatever two pound 49 i love the little beach design on it that's lovely and I also, for £1.29, got a pack of three. I did get two of these, actually, but Gary's already nicked one because I bought them but waited to do the haul. Um, so these were £1.29 for a pack of three. And I got the other pack in all the different colours that so comes with pink, yellow and green, I believe. Um, so they're really good to keep their lunches fresh. I forgot, I was on the eco-friendly little section and I forgot to show you these. These are the most favourite things of the whole haul, guys. So in there, they've come out with this new range. It's right next to the Bumblebee range that they had. And they have got like these bamboo fibers. It feels like plastic, but it's not. Jugs, they've got them in pink. They've got them in this lovely like sea foam, like sage green color. And they've also got like a terrazzo print, which is lovely, but I've got the cup, so I'll show you. So they've got the jugs. So these are three pound 49 and they're really large. You could probably get about five or six drinks out of this. This is really good if you've got a lot of kids on the go, fill it up with juice and ice for the kids, pop it in, or if you've got cocktails in the summer in the garden. Really, really good. I got the green one. They've also got big salad bowls, side plates, plates. Oh, and they've got trays as well. But obviously, I'm not gonna buy things just for the sake of buying them. I don't really need that. I've got trays and plates and stuff, but I thought I'd show you the job because I do need one of these. And I've got four cups to go with it. But I thought to be a little bit funky, I'm gonna get some of the different designs. So. In all of the stuff they do, like the plates, the bowls, the cups, trays, jugs, they do them all in the green, the pink, and the terrazzo. So this is the terrazzo print, which I thought was adorable. Like literally, I might even keep these out on my new shelves because these are so lovely. And they're really large as well. So like a really nice size. Then you can see they're like that recycled bamboo, like bamboo material. So like a beigey color inside. These are really lovely. Can you dishwash these? These are hand wash only and they're not suitable for microwave or dishwasher, I suppose that's right. Um, so these are really good because I'm sure, I don't know, but we watched Dragon's Den once and they was promoting like bamboo fibre flasks and apparently they don't just um, de de deteriorate on their own. So like, you can have them wet and leave a cup of drinkers, they're not going to start deteriorating but apparently it's to do with when all like, the refuse, like landfill sort of like crunches down, it's the pressure combined with like the dampness. So like... You know, like when it's like composted, it, it can be composted. So I've got two of these terrazzo print ones. I've got a green one and I've got the lovely colour pink. I'm half tempted to go back and actually get a few more cups and the pink jug because I think in the summer, when you've got family over once all these lockdowns and that's done, you're going to probably need a few more jugs of juice. We've always got a few drinks on the go, so I thought they were really lovely. And now we're not talking about eco stuff. I got this. Now, Millie can tie her own laces, Archie can tie their own laces, so they're six and eight. But Alfie, my five-year-old, he struggles a little bit with it. He gets in a bit of a panic and don't really know how to do his laces. So when I saw this, I thought this was amazing. And they do lots of educational books in there, guys. Really, really cheap. Um, so always definitely have a look in there. And these are really good for presents. If you've got like a friend or a family member, you could like get them something cute to play with. But nine times out of 10, kids have got so much anyway. Getting things like this, they really love, but they're learning from it as well. So this was £2.49, and this is my first shoe book. So not only 
does it have the laces on the front it's got the tag and I've got the cuff but you can undo this and learn and practice to do unshoe laces which I think is wicked um, but it does a step by step guide in a child friendly way with pictures and like a little rabbit it shows you the story of how he can't do it it's like under the rabbit ears under the loop and it teaches your kids how to tie their own shoelaces. So sometimes I'm like, you've got to do it under that way. And then that, and then he's sort of like trying to see, but where I'm helping him do it, it's a little bit difficult for him. So we can sit there and learn to do his laces. And I thought this would be like a really good little thing. Oh look, on the back, it shows you a few of the other ones they do. So they've got like, oh, they've got a TikTok clock. So it teaches you how to do, learn the time on the clock. Um, my first animals, slide and learn. Wipe and clean numbers. A, B, C. Oh, they're really good. I just thought this was really good, so I had to get this for Alfie because I thought it was really cute. We did also, they've got like a festival range in there, which obviously is going to waste at the moment because not no one's going to festivals. But they've yet again got the little pack of ponchos for 59p in there, which are always really good. I find if you've got kids, you whack them in your bag and if it rains while you're out on a day out, like a family day out, you've got them ready. They're not just for festivals. And um, so I've got another one of those in black that's out in my bag. <laughs> and we did get Millie, she got like some glitter body paint and some like iridescent body paint. They were like a pound each for these tiny little pouches. And like, you know the festival girls wear all the lovely glitter and makeup and stuff. So we got some of them. So I've got them for her, but obviously she's been using them in her room. If you do follow me on Instagram, you'll see what she done to my face. Made me out to be her unicorn pet. It was hilarious. I just like full face of shimmer. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be my little haul. So now I'm gonna just add the video, guys. And you can see the shelves up and the, the blinds in the kitchen and the lovely bits I got gifted by the lovely bow home. So I'm going to go. Take care, guys. Bye. So, guys, here we are. The shelves have finally come. They took absolutely ages to come from lockdown, but I feel like it's so worth it. I do want to get a few cute little bits to sort of style this up with. I'm just using stuff around the house. Um, I'm kind of thinking like a hanging plant or something. Uh, but obviously the shops aren't open just as of yet, not when I'm filming this. Um, so, the shelves have come. They're from a company called Yesterhome. And they are the most beautiful like white cast iron brackets and little oak coloured shelves. You can pick which colour you'd like the wood in and what finish. Mine is the oak um, and it's in the wax so it's I've got like a nice matte colour to it. Um, and the thing what I loved about this is, is I was looking for the cast iron brackets just to get and to make the shelves myself um, by buying like the wood from like B&Q or a stockist like that. When you took into account I was going to have to obviously buy the wax because I've already, I, I could have coffee stain them to be honest. But once I needed to get the wood shelf in from B&Q, that was like £20 for the timber, I had to pay for the brackets. It worked out about £4 dearer to buy these complete from the shops and they also come with white screws so that you can't see the screws. Um, and they were just really good customer service. Obviously, if you're going to be doing a lot of shelves, it might work out a lot cheaper to do it by buying the brackets separately and then doing the wood yourself. But for this small area, I think it worked out a lot better for me. Um, so I did say as well that I would show you how I hung these, but had a few problems. Um, I needed to use a pipe finder because there used to be a big radiator here. But obviously, because we've got another cupboard to make more space and more storage, it's not there. So one of us had to hold a pipe finder. The other one had to do the hammer drill while also holding the spirit level. There was no room to sort of have my phone in the, in the mix. <laughs> there would have been no way I could have held the phone at the same time. And obviously I don't have a prop because I'm not very professional at this kind of thing. Um, so the candle holder would just not have pictured this. Um, but I've styled it up with things around the home, which I'm really, really loving all these. So they've got little home bargains jug. My little white company candle my sister got me for my birthday. Um, the little pink star was actually like a galvanised star. I got that from eBay. Um, and I've also got the little bowls from TK Maxx. They're two little um, stripy cups actually from the range, but I'm using them as plant pots at the moment and just push the handles to the back. And that's like one Ikea plant that I've separated to make it look like plant pots. Some little calf kits and bowls, a little Jo Malone candle, and I just feel like it's really changed up that little area and it makes it look really, really quirky. Um, also, I wanted to show you... Um, this lovely little reef. Now, I always get asked whenever I do my reef tutorials um, where I got my eucalyptus reef. And I got it online. I can never remember where I got it from. Um, but it was about £38. But this one was about, I think this was 16 pounds I'm not too sure. But this was kindly gifted by the lovely um, Bow Home. So that's B-O-H Home. Um, and they sell such beautiful stuff. I'm going to link the Instagram below so you can go check out if you'd like to. 
but it's really beautiful and it's got the most realistic looking leaves that like kind of powdery really lovely and i'm loving that on the door at the minute as well i think it is so nice with that little pink door she also kindly gifted out this lovely twiggy heart now what i love about this is it's so similar to the one that's in the background of like most of my videos and i always get asked where i got it from and i think this was 16.99 as well and what's lovely is it's so chunky like the back of it is really chunky it's quite deep really lovely and I love anything rustic like that and I just think it looks really really lovely as I said I'm going to show you the blind so the blind is up and I'm really really loving it and um, we had a problem with the doormat so the doormat was currently there and um, the one that I showed you in my haul but actually because we've got the floor tiled and it's raised I can't open the door with the doormat so it's currently on the opposite side so when people walk in with their dirty feet which is a shame but it did look nice for when it lasted and um, so the blind is up and all I've done is I've got a hot glue gun and glued along the bottom edge on the inside and put this um, pom pom trim on the back and I think it just finishes it off lovely. I did show this on my Instagram but I thought I'd show this on here because a few people have asked how I lay it so flat on the door without letting in a lot of light. So I don't use the actual bracket. What I've done is I've took the Velcro that comes on the bracket, took it off and stuck it directly to the door and then velcroed it down so it leaves it really flush to the door so it's not hanging off with the bracket and I really really like that and I think that's made quite a difference so I thought I'd show you them pieces and obviously I will be doing a, um, a little video on how to hang shelves because I've got to do some in the boys room and they're a little bit more simple there's no pipes behind so it'll just be how you would do it because I did get asked how do you sort of put things up and drill things up so I will be doing a little video to do with that but I thought I'd show you these pieces because I thought they were really lovely and I'm going to link everything below and um, these shelves I paid for out of my money they wasn't gifted the gifted items were the lovely wreath and the lovely heart which is just so lovely as I was not expecting that for the kitchen they just so make a little bit of something extra so yeah hopefully you like this um, so, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video guys, it's been lovely seeing you all. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, that would be lovely, that's completely free to do so as well. Thank you again for all your lovely comments and the thumbs up. If you do want to stay on track when all my videos are uploaded, if you press the notification bell, you'll be updated when they are. You might not want to and you might not want to subscribe, that's absolutely fine, you're in the club like I say. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video today guys, take care, stay safe, bye!